When Winston Churchill was asked if history would be kind to him, he said, It will be kind to me, for I intend to write it. On December 27, 2009, Avenged Sevenfold drummer Jimmy the Rev Sullivan quoted that famous line. The next day, he was found dead from an overdose of painkillers and alcohol. It came as a shock to everyone, especially considering they were deep in the writing process of their fifth album, eventually to be titled Nightmare. It was Jimmy's passion project, taking the reins and completing their most intricate and unique music to date. But maybe the most interesting part was the lyrics he left behind as well. He wrote about pain, the struggle of existence, friendship, and he wrote about death. Looking back, the signs point to the fact that maybe Jimmy knew his time on this earth was limited. Looking back, what the Rev definitely did was correctly predict his place in the halls of music history. One day, when Jimmy was 15 years old, he was over at the house of one of his best friends, Brian Hayner, who would later become known as Avenged Sevenfold's guitarist, Sinister Gates. Brian's dad was hanging around and talking with Jimmy about his future plans, where he saw himself, and what he wanted to do after high school graduation. Jimmy got serious for a second and replied very matter-of-factly, I know two things. I'm going to be in a famous rock band, and I'm going to die before I'm 30. Nearing the end of 2009, Avenged Sevenfold had momentum on their side. All the music for a planned concept record had been written and demoed, and the band was raring to hit the studio. The Rev was known for his ambition when it came to songwriting for the band, but this time he upped the ante. He was on fire. He was taking in every idea from each band member and would add something to it. He was working his ass off. As guitarist Zachy Vengeance would say, it was almost as if he was exhausting every ounce of what he had left. But a concept record about politics, racism, and the economy would take a hard left turn when on December 28th, Jimmy was found dead. A few weeks would pass where the boys of Avenged Sevenfold were unsure if they should even carry on the band anymore. I remember sitting there like New Year's Eve and everyone's partying in uh, Times Square. Yeah. And I remember being so, just so bitter and like, we just lost our best friend, people are partying and we're just sitting at the, at the house like, band's done, fucking Jimmy's gone, life's horrible. But after talking it out, they knew Jimmy would want them to carry on. And so they decided they'd finish the album Jimmy had worked so hard on. As they slowly got back in the studio with their fallen drummer on their mind, interesting little tidbits kept popping up in the music and lyrics Jimmy had left behind, almost as if he knew he would be leaving his bandmates and brothers very soon. And with it, a similar theme kept coming up, death. Frontman M. Shadows mentioned that period of time in an interview, saying, quote, The eeriest thing about it is there's a song on the album called Fiction, which started out with the title Death, and it was the last song the Rev wrote for the album, and when he handed it in, he said, That's it. That's the last song for this record. And then three days later, he died. Fiction is written from the standpoint of someone struggling with life and giving a final goodbye to a dear friend. It opens with, now I think I understand how this world can overcome a man. Like a friend, we saw it through. In the end, I gave my life for you. The Rev was aware of some of his health struggles. He was born with an enlarged heart and near the end of his life complained about lingering stomach problems. Couple that with an addiction to alcohol and never being the one to shy away from drugs, it doesn't make for a happy ending. Maybe he knew his time was coming to an end and wanted to wish his friends and family the best of luck for when he left. He continued to write in the verse, Gave you all I had to give, found a place for me to rest my head. While I may be hard to find, heard there's peace just on the other side. The Rev had put everything into this last album, and now it's like he's giving some sort of reassurance to his loved ones that he'll be okay. As fiction nears its end, we're left with this haunting, foreboding outro with, I hope it's worth it here on the highway, yeah. I know you'll find your own way when I'm not with you. In memory of Jimmy, the band changed the working title of the song from death to fiction, a nickname Jimmy gave himself. Before Jimmy died, he demoed all the piano and drums to the track, but only part of the vocals. As a tribute, Jimmy's vocals were left in, with M Shadows almost duetting with him in some parts. Jimmy hoped that what he had done in his life was worth dying for. His music and anything else he gave us was what he wanted to be remembered for. 
Fiction is a final message that he had faith his family and friends would be able to move on without him. Maybe in the end, Jimmy didn't have a master plan and didn't intend to go out when he did, but when all was said and done, he succeeded in what he always intended to do with his music, leaving his mark on history.